These soldiers, they are the most brilliant generation of our time. They're not born to die. I don't care die a hero or die a what. It's the same. It's a waste of resource. They are able-bodied, they're intelligent, they're strong, they're handsome. And it costs millions of dollars even to raise him. And so much love from the family and friends so that he grow up like that. He's not just nobody, he's somebody. He has family, yeah? He might even be married and have children already. But he's forced to go out there and shoot somebody he don't even have any enmity with. But you cannot change love into hatred and tell a young man who has been loved all his lifetime until now, come out and turn into a hateful person and then use a gun to kill another person, also grow out of love from a mother somewhere, nurture like a beautiful flower in your garden with all love and care and attention and hope for the future. And you boom, just like that. one bullet this big, finished. Such a beautiful dream. People should be given hope, inspiration to live for, not to die for. You're not born, grow up, just to keep a war and then die for it. The children are in the prime of their life and they are also very idealistic. So this good and pure energy and Enthusiasm has to be used for peaceful purpose, for building the world, for helping the needy. Yeah, that is a kind of heroism that the young people love to spend their energy on. They would love it. The more war, the more death, the more death, the more enemies, the more enemies, the more war, the more war, the more death, the more death, the more enemies. It, it's a vicious circle. There's no end to it. We just have to shake hands and forgive each other. War is never a solution. We just have to stop.